this is a trick tonight. Oh, this is a trick. There we go. How many of you have ever played a game of cards? Let's see your hands. All right. Is there anybody who has never played a game of cards? That's right. Cards are a wonderful addition to any free time that you might have with friends or even alone. Many of us love to play solitaire. But have you ever tried to play with half a deck? Oh, come on, Joan. That would make a very idiosyncratic game, would it not? <laughs> half a deck of cards? Well, folks, I want to tell you, it's embarrassing, but I dare say most of you are playing with a half a deck of cards. <laughs> 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 because you come tonight to this circus hoping to be entertained, but you're going to get more than you bargained for. You come to Toastmasters to learn to be a better speaker. That's a wonderful goal, but it's a half deck, folks. The other half is sitting right here, unused, not touched. And I'll tell you how I know that. I took a survey last week of a number of people who happen to be here. Some have been in this club for as long as five years, this mini survey that I did, and some have been here only a month and a half. So that was the breadth of my survey. Six people took it for me. And I was asking about being a dealer in hope. That's right. Car dealers deal out cars, but they deal out hope because you hope to win. That's the only way you reason you play a game of cards is because you want to win. So I asked how many people of these six surveys, how many of them brought this book called The Confident Leader to their meeting? Two of them out of the six said they did. That means four did not, right? So we're in the lower half of this survey. I asked how many of them were leaders in some form or other in their own life. Four out of the six said they were leaders in some form of their home, work, life, postmastering life. So then the, my next question was, have you read this book? confident leader. <coughs> One out of all of them had read it. And guess what? It wasn't the six-year, five-year, two-year members. It was the one-and-a-half-month member who had actually read this book. And then I asked, do you intend to complete this manual before the end of this term? This term ends in June 2013. And one person said, I don't know. The other people said, no. So no one is planning to finish, of those six, is planning to finish that manual. Well, why would you even want to attempt to finish this manual? Well, that was the whole point of this. Do you know what's in it? Why don't you bring it? <coughs> the majority of the responses, I did get one response, response that said, I don't have a manual. I don't have one of these. The other responses were, I don't know what it's for. Literally, I don't know what to do with that. I don't know what it means. And let me tell you folks, that half of the deck, you're missing out. You're missing out on the whole rest of the program. A leader is a dealer in hope. Napoleon Bonaparte said that. A leader is a dealer in hope. If you are a leader, you inspire others to want to dream more, to want to learn more, to want to be more, and to do more. How do you do that? Well, John Quincy Adams said it. To inspire others to learn, to 
to become more, you have to be a leader. That's what a leader is. Folks, if you are interested in coming to this club and getting better as a speaker, that's one half of the equation. The other half is becoming a leader. That one half is the me half. The half of sharing with others is the we half. You can't do one without the other. Think about it. Do we ever come to a meeting and only have speeches? No, we all have parts to play. And that's what this manual does. It gives you credit and inspiration for playing and participating in all the parts of the meeting. For instance, if you look in the current manual, I have an older manual, an old six manual. So my manual doesn't have what the newest manuals have, which is a sheet that gives you a whole list of your activities, a whole list of the activities that you can choose from. There's only one chapter out of the ten in that book in which you have to do every single thing in it. And that chapter is giving feedback. You have to be a speech evaluator, a grammarian, and a general evaluator. Every other chapter gives you choices. And they help you with all kinds of things. Things like mentoring, motivating people, developing facilitation skills, critical thinking, giving feedback, listening, leadership. All of those things are tied into that manual. But if you don't know what's in it, if you don't bring it, if you don't use it, oh my goodness, you might as well take the deck of cards and throw it away. What hope is there for you? A leader is a dealer in hope. Don't stop at the me part of this program. Go on to the we part. You will not only gain so much, you will give so much to everyone around you, and we will all therefore thrive. Mr. Tosa.